Hey everyone, it's Ben here with Beat the Course. As you know, lots of golf is happening right now, which means not a ton of time for editing. That being said, we've got another highlight holes video for you. And this one here today is from Tobiano, one of the best courses around. Super excited to share some of my favorite holes from this legendary golf course. So Tobiano has it all. If you haven't played it yet, definitely a bucket list course. I would 100% recommend getting out here when you can. You've got canyon carries, elevation changes, stunning views, lightning fast greens that are nice and firm, uh, lush fairways, desert fescue, and of course a top tier practice facility as well to get nice and warmed up. The course itself peaks at just over 7,300 yards from the championship tees with a total of five selections. That being said, fairways are relatively wide on most holes, which makes the course very playable. You could find yourself with some very tricky approach shots due to thick rough or from some of the fescue areas. As I'm sure you can imagine, it's next to impossible to pick just five holes for this video, but here they are. We're starting off with hole number two. So it's a 350 yard par four with a lot of bunker trouble. That large bunker on the right hand side is a 270 yard carry from the iron tees. Uh, you've got a very challenging green that slopes significantly from right to left with a false front. So if you take a good shot into the middle of the green and it's got a little bit of spin on it, you could be sent back about 20 plus yards down to the base of the fairway there. Very important to land right of the hole, give some extra distance so you don't spin back off the green. Going too long is also significant trouble because it just drops off into the abyss below, which is kind of a feature here of Tobiano. Up next, hole number seven, a definite signature hole here. It's a par three over the canyon that plays just under 200 yards from the tips. You're essentially hitting to an island green with limited room for error. It's really important to know your yardage and take wind into consideration on this hole. You got a few pop bunkers at the back and front of the green to catch any errant tee shots. If you are missing the green, you kind of just got to hope that uh, the rough or one of those bunkers will catch your ball and that you don't end up in the uh, canyon essentially. Now we've got hole number eight back to back is the one cap on the course. It's a challenging, and I mean a challenging par five. It's a 590 yard par five with a minimum 200 yard carry off the tee to get over the canyon. It's a very intimidating tee shot, but uh, you just gotta pretend there's grass between you and the fairway and you should be good. A good tee shot can make this reachable. Uh, the fairway slopes hard towards the lake as well. So any layup shot, you wanna keep it on the high side. Give yourself a good angle of attack with this green and main goal here is just to stay out of trouble if you play some safe shots you know just hit the hit the shots you're comfortable with and you're confident you can hit there's no reason why you can't walk away with a par or potentially even a birdie here up next we got the 13th it's almost a reverse reflection of hole eight that we just saw so instead of going down and to the right it goes up and to the left once again a significant canyon carry about 200 yards from the back tees and you've got two fairway bunkers on the left hand side if you're really eager to get there in two you're a 270 yard carry to get over those bunkers so a fairly significant drive would be needed i think it's a three shot hole for more most but any long hitters should have a chance to get in there in two it's just a really difficult second shot because of those nasty bunkers that are there your second shot there's a nice wide fairway section at the top that's flat it's a perfect layup spot right at the 100 yard stick so you need to take extra yardage because of the way that this fairway moves up the mountain that's how I played it and walked away with a birdie when we were filming here. And finally, we are going to wrap up with the 14th hole. The tee box is the high point on the course. You just have a stunning look at the rest of the course. It really is such a unique experience here at Tobiano. Uh, this one is a 450 yard par four back down the mountain towards the lake. You've got a blind tee shot over two fairway bunkers on the left side. It's not hard to carry those, but you just don't want to cut it too hard left. Uh, about 200 yards to get to the fairway, aim straight at the barber pole and you should be good. If you hit a bit of a cut, that's fine as well. You're better off to go long and a little bit right than you are to go left. And then ultimately the approach shot is everything on this hole. 
you've got an elevation change down the hill don't take too much club short is better than long here if you go long you're in some serious trouble so beautiful view beautiful course cannot wait to get back here and uh, that's a wrap so as always thank you so much for watching please stay tuned and remember to subscribe because we have got some serious content coming out in the coming weeks so many new golf courses and i uh, really appreciate all of you for watching so thanks again we'll see you next time